and we're going to talk about intro media. If you want to create intro media, all you have to do is record a video, which I did very simply. You you may have a video that you've recorded, you know, outside with a camera, a good digital camera, or whatever. But I wanted to do an introduction of me welcoming you to reading the book, so I went ahead to QuickTime and I came up to the file button and I did a new movie recording and when I did new movie recording it actually opens up the video and I was able to press record and record my video now when I did that it saved it to my documents so I pulled it out here onto the desktop came to finder I went to documents and it was in here so I just drug it out put it on the desktop and now if I go to intro media, all I have to do is grab that and drag it on. It'll optimize the movie and once the movie's in there, it will actually play as the first page after your title page of the book. So what happens is your book opens up, you see the title page, the front of the book for pretty much an instant, not very long, and it opens up and it'll open up to the intro media. Now when you open it up when you open up the iBook later on you may not see the intro media and you actually have to swipe backwards to it to actually see it again so if you have someone who wants to see the video again and they're having troubles just remember that and I'll show you that in a later video but I did want to show you what, op what uh, dumping it in would look like and how it would appear when it's done. Now while it's talking real quickly I wanted to show you something else about the video and actually I'm gonna save that thought because it actually showed up so here's my intro video welcome to my quick lessons a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the book all right so that's the intro media we have it done now we can actually save our book file save If you save your book, it'll actually save a new version of the book with the updated information. And what that means is you'll have multiple versions saved. If I come over here to iBooks Author and I click on that drop down menu, it'll actually show me the last opened, last time I opened, and it'll show me all the versions that I have done and saved. So here are all those versions, and I can actually go back and restore an older version if I want. I'm not going to do that, though, because I don't need to. And there we have it. That's our intro media. Thanks for joining me today.